based on the data, how many times more likely is it for a 14 year old or a 15 year old to not have a summer job than it is for a 16 year old or a 17 year old to not have a summer job? What you need to be very careful here is to not compare the raw numbers. So if you got this wrong, perhaps what you did is said, okay, the number of 14 to 15 year olds who don't have a summer job is 69. The number of 16 to 17 year olds who do not have a summer job is 42. We want to compare the 14 to 15 year olds without a summer job to the 16 and 17 year olds without a summer job. So all I need to do is just divide 69 by 42. And I would do that. And I would get, what do you know, 1.64. So hooray, that's choice D, but then that's wrong. Because the issue here is you have to compare the percentages. You have to compare essentially the probability that a 14 to 15 year old has a summer job and a 16 to 17 year old has a summer job. Because if you notice, the number of students that we've sampled, the number of, of kids that we've sampled is different for each of these classes. So we can't just compare these numbers directly because let's just make this an extreme case. Let's say I talk to a thousand 14 to 15 year olds and only 81 16 to 17 year olds, you're gonna have a lot more kids who've got a summer job or who don't have a summer job in this sample. But that's just because I, I talk to more of those students. It's not anything necessarily about that population in itself. So this is just going to show that you cannot compare the raw numbers. You first have to find the fraction, the probability, the percentage of these groups that don't have summer jobs and then compare those. So let's do that. The fraction of the 14 to 15 year olds who don't have a summer job is 69 divided by 89. So that's 0.775. The fraction of the 16 and 17 year olds that don't have a summer job is 42 out of 81. 0.5185. So we'll say 0.519. Now we divide these two to find the ratio or to find how much more likely it is that these guys are going to be uh, ha not having a job and these compared to these guys is just like we did before, divide them, but divide the probabilities, not the raw numbers. So here we're gonna do 0.775 divided by 0.519. Let's see what we get. 775 divided by 0.519 gets me 1.49. And due to our rounding and due to our losing decimals, this is not quite 1.50, but it's the closest, of course, to the answer. Again, you just have to round up a little bit, I guess. Yeah, I mean, it does round to 1.50. So yeah, that's, that's fine. So in any event, the answer here is C. And again, when you're comparing likelihood, right, likeliness, that's probability, it's chance. So what you need to do is compare the probabilities, not the raw numbers. So this one's C. To learn more about Reason Prep's SAT, SAT subject test, and ACT video courses, go to reasonprep.com slash enroll, and you can find the link in the description below the video.